Hi everyone, Eli here again, and this is the fifth in a series of videos showcasing the Dwarven Forge Grand Citadel from the Dwarven Forge Castle Builder Kickstarter. Um, what we have here is a, a built Grand Citadel, and I've added to it uh, interior walls, and I've also tweaked it um, by removing the top of the wall platforms, because what this video is going to cover is adding the special um, Battlements Mega Pack to this set which lets you put uh, these cool machicolated battlements all around the entire fortress. And so I'm going to demonstrate how that's done. And um, first I'll just show you real quickly what, we, what the machicolated battlement set consists of. And basically we have uh, these corner battlements here. Um, we've got seven of those plus an eighth one that has a trap door. We've got uh, six of these uh, special indent battlements of three right and three left that have this extra side piece. And we've got a whole bunch, I believe 26 of these regular um, battlement pieces here. And then there are also um, a few special city builder pieces that are used to um, augment the gatehouse so that you can basically get a, a third tower here, or a fifth, third tower, yes. Third tower, fifth if you have two in the back corners if you have them. Anyways, um, an extra tower on the gatehouse. Um, and I'll show you how that's built uh, in a minute. But first of all, for doing most of the structure, the um, process is pretty straightforward. You're simply going to remove your, your wall platforms, um, like so. I've already got a pile of them over here from one side. And then um, we'll just do that all the way around. So this nice big one comes off and go. This corner one comes off fit nice and snug, which is a good thing generally. Okay, so we get those all off, and then you can either remove the ones um, that are in the tower or not, um, depending. Uh, it it's, it's really kind of goes either way. I'm just gonna, um, I'll take this one out, and just lift that tower piece off, and so we can remove this, and we can also remove um, the corner uh, platform here. Just set those aside. Now, um, on this side, you'll see that I've left that on. That's because in this case, um, I have the corner, the inside corner um, cut out like this with just a post to provide access into the walls. So if we remove this bit, uh, this piece would have nothing to sit on and it would fall down. So in that case, we need it there. And in, in this side, we'll do it without, just so you can see both ways, both options. Okay, so now that that's removed, we can, we can put our tower right back on there. Okay, and so now um, I'll just go ahead and put these, these pieces back on. All right, now um, I'm just going to go around here and add in all our regular battlements. Um, first of all, do the back corners. So one of these guys on each side. So... So, now as you can see, all these pieces have uh, both exterior and interior corbels, so they lock right onto the wall quite nicely. Um, so we'll just go ahead and put those on. In this case here, we've got this little bit of a post to support this, but basically because of the corbels, it's just going to lock on there anyway, so it doesn't really even need the support. Let's this side. Okay, now when we get to the tower on each side, basically because we have these, these special cutout pieces that fit up against the tower, um, these are the crenellated pieces, and, and what we use to go with those is one of these special pieces that has the, the bit of a sidewall. That way the, uh, the defenses continue right around. Actually, I'm going to remove the top of the gatehouse now. And that is all going to be tweaked in just a moment. Let's 
see, we'll put this one with the right hand wall against the tower there. And we'll put this one against the tower here. Regular one there. And a left hander over here. side all right so now we need to deal with the gatehouse now the cool thing about this is this set basically comes with a bunch of extra nifty city builder pieces which I've got laid out here um, that will be useful in other places as well as here um, first of all there's this um, this is sort of the the murder hole floor that goes on um, from the, the second story of the gatehouse Lots of slots for you to dump stuff on the heads of any enemies who burst through your your um, drawbridge. Um, now this gets um, a couple standard city builder pegs uh, posts in the front, just the same way you put them on any of those. And then we've got these awesome offset doors, and those are basically doors that are far to one side of the wall, and they have an integral post. And that is that'll be very useful for building things in a, a city builder structure where you want a, a door that's say um, on the side of a building that's tight into another building and you need it to fit. But it also is perfect for here if you want to have access from your top of your gatehouse out onto the walls. So we've got a right and a left. There's mirror images of those, so we'll just lock those in there. And then for this story, we'll also provide some arrow slits so we can shoot out into the into the courtyard or into the approaches of the castle. All right, so that's your second story. Now the thing is, because these guys, again, have these big corbels, you can't really put them right there. You need to go up another story. So basically, we're we're creating a whole tower here. So we've got another. This is a, a standard city builder's trapdoor floor. Um, so. there and then we use um, the unadorned walls because we don't want anything in the way of the corbels so those fit here all right now we can take and put some of these guys up here we'll use our trap door so we have access to the roof and we've got more of these and now you have a nice defensive tower above your above your gatehouse um, this piece becomes uh, moot for this case um, it, we've also got a ladder included in the set that lets you get up to the trap door uh, we've got a few of these nifty little extras um, these uh, special armored um, shutters that can that can fit into the into the holes there, and then a couple of these nifty Greek fire projectors uh, sculpted by Lady Sibel um, that can fit into the slots here with a removable gout of flame. So, um, all sorts of nifty stuff there. I think these were actually extras that were just thrown in as a bonus to the set that weren't even part of the original offering. So, um, if you look around, you may notice I still have some extra pieces kicking around here. What are these? Uh, these are here because you don't always want uh, towers on the, every corner of your Grand Citadel. So we wanted to make sure you had enough battlements that if you remove the towers, you've got your corner pieces and you've got your pieces to fit into those. Um, so that's what that all is for. And the only other thing to show, I suppose, I had removed the stairs. So I'll just put some stairs back up onto the battlements here. Show how that works quite nicely with the spacing. We've got our, our little stairs that give you that extra height. Get you up there. Um, there are enough stairs in the set. You can have a couple sets running up to the battlements. And um, that, that concludes the, the demo of the Grand Citadel battlements. battlements.